Brought to you by wikivd.com Ashton Kutcher Christopher Ashton Kutcher is an American actor and investor. Kutcher began his career as a model and began his acting career portraying Michael Kelso in the Fox sitcom That 70s show which aired for eight seasons. He made his film debut in the romantic comedy Coming Soon and became known by audiences in the comedy film Dude Where's My Car, which was a box office hit. In 2003, Kutcher appeared in romantic comedies Just Married and My Boss Daughter and the same year. He created, produced and hosted Punt, which aired on MTV for five seasons until its revival in 2012. In 2004, Kutcher starred in the lead role of the psychological film The Butterfly Effect and gained public recognition. Kutcher subsequently appeared in more romantic comedies, including Guess Who A Lot Like Love What Happens in Vegas and No Strings Attached. From 2011 to 2015 he starred as Walden Schmidt on the CBS sitcom Two and a Half Men. In 2013, Kutcher portrayed Steve Jobs in the biographical film Jobs. Early Life Kutcher was born in Cedar Rapids, Iowa to Diana Proctor, a factory worker. His father is of Czech descent while his mother is of Czech German and Irish ancestry. Kutcher was raised in a relatively conservative Catholic family. He has an older sister named Tausha and a fraternal twin brother named Michael, who had a heart transplant when the brothers were young children. Michael also has cerebral palsy, and is a spokesperson for the advocacy organization Reaching for the Stars. Michael's cardiomyopathy caused Kutcher's home life to become increasingly stressful. He has said that he didn't want to come home and find more bad news about his brother stating, I kept myself so busy that I didn't allow myself to feel. Kutcher stated that when he was 13, he contemplated committing suicide to save his brother's life with a heart transplant. When he told his father he was considering jumping from a Cedar Rapids hospital balcony, his father dissuaded him from doing so shortly before doctors announced that a transplant had become available from an accident victim in another state. Kutcher attended Washington High School in Cedar Rapids for his freshman year before his family moved to Homestead, Iowa, where he attended Clear Creek Amarna High School. During high school he developed a passion for acting and appeared in school plays. However, Kutcher's home life worsened as his parents divorced when he was 16. During his senior year, he broke into his high school at midnight with his cousin in an attempt to steal money. He was arrested leaving the scene. Kutcher was convicted of third-degree burglary and sentenced to three years probation and 180 hours of community service. Kutcher stated that although the experience straightened him out he lost his girlfriend and anticipated college scholarships and was ostracized at school and in his community. Kutcher enrolled at the University of Iowa in August 1996, where his planned major was biochemical engineering motivated by the desire to find a cure for his brother's heart ailment. At college Kutcher was kicked out of his apartment for being too noisy and wild. Kutcher stated I thought I knew everything, but I didn't have a clue. I was partying and I woke up many mornings not knowing what I had done the night before. I played way too hard. I am amazed I am not dead. To earn money for his tuition, Kutcher worked as a college summer hire in the cereal department for the General Mills plant in Cedar Rapids and sometimes sold his blood. While at the University of Iowa he was approached by a model scout at a bar called the Airliner in Iowa City, Iowa and was recruited to enter the Fresh Faces of Iowa modeling competition. After placing first he dropped out of college and won a trip to New York City to the International Modeling and Talent Association Convention. 
After his stay in New York City, Kutcher returned to Cedar Rapids before relocating to Los Angeles to pursue a career in acting, modeling. After participating in an IMTA competition in 1998, Kutcher signed with Next Modeling Agency in New York, appeared in commercials for Calvin Klein, and modeled in Paris and Milan. Acting Following his success in modeling, Kutcher moved to Los Angeles after his first audition. He was cast as Michael Kelso in the television series That 70s Show from 1998 to 2006. Kutcher was cast in a series of film roles, although he auditioned but was not cast. For the role of Danny Walker in Pearl Harbor he starred in several comedy films including Dude. Where's My Car? Just Married and Guess Who? He appeared in the 2003 family film Cheaper by the Dozen as a self-obsessed actor. In the 2004 drama film The Butterfly Effect, Kutcher played a conflicted young man who time travels. The film received mixed to negative reviews but was a box office success. In 2003 Kutcher produced and starred as the host in his own series MTV's Punked. That involved hidden camera tricks performed on celebrities. He is also an executive producer of the reality television shows Beauty and the Geek. Adventures in Hollywood The Real Wedding Crashes and the game show Opportunity Knocks. Many of his production credits including Punt come through Catalyst Films a production company he runs with partner Jason Goldberg. A 2004 interviewer described Kutcher as a hunky young actor, who is heading in all different directions at once including the hot LA restaurant Dolce, if anything I'm a trier, says Kutcher between puffs of filtered lucky strikes. I think more than anything it comes from the fact that my father always had several irons in the fire. Also I don't want to fail, if something doesn't work out, if that 70s show got cancelled or if I wasn't going to have a film career, I always wanted to have backup contingency plans. So I just started doing other things, and on a half-hour sitcom you're really only working for 30 hours a week. It allows a lot of time for sitting around which I always kind of filled with work. Because of scheduling conflicts with the filming of The Guardian, Kutcher was forced not to renew his contract for the eighth and final season of that 70s show. Although he appeared in its first four episodes and returned for the series finale, Kutcher produced and starred in the 2010 action comedy Killers in which he played a hitman. In May 2011 Kutcher was announced as Charlie Sheen's replacement on the series Two and a Half Men. Kutcher's contract was for one year and was believed to be worth nearly $20 million. His debut as the character Walden Schmidt entitled Nice to Meet You Walden Schmidt was seen by 28.7 million people on September 19, 2011. The Nielsen Ratings Company reported that figure was more than any episode in the show's first eight seasons when Sheen starred in it. Kutcher earned $750,000 an episode on the show. The show ended with a 40-minute series finale. Of course H.E. is dead on February 19, 2015. Venture Capitalism and Investment Beyond the entertainment world, Kutcher is also a venture capitalist. Kutcher has also successfully invested in several high-technology startups. Kutcher has investments in over 60 companies, the most prominent of which include Skype, Foursquare, Airbnb, Path, and Fab.com. Kutcher has invested in five startups as of August 2017, Neighborly. Zenreach Research Gate Kopari Beauty and most recently Lemonade marking his foray into the Incitec sector. He is a co-founder of the venture capital firm A-Grade Investments, with Guy Oziri and Ron Burkle and fund manager Chris Hollowed.
At SXSW on March 14, 2015, Kutcher announced Sound Ventures the successor to A-grade investments managing a fund backed by institutional funding. On October 29, 2013, Lenovo announced that it has hired Kutcher as product engineer. Kutcher was part of the management team for Rumor, a tech startup launched in September 2007. Rumor is in the voiceover internet protocol business and Kutcher's role was as creative director. He spearheaded a marketing campaign and produced viral videos to promote this service. Kutcher also created an interactive arm of Catalyst called Catalyst Media with his partner from Catalyst Films Jason Goldberg. Their first site was the animated cartoon Blah Girls. Uma revamped its sales and marketing strategy with a new management team in the summer of 2008, replacing Kutcher as their creative director. Rich Buchanan from Sling Media became Uma's chief marketing officer. Restaurant Kutcher has invested in an Italian restaurant Dolce and a Japanese-themed restaurant named Geisha House with locations in Atlanta, Los Angeles and New York City. Geisha House went out of business on June 1, 2013. Shark Tank Kutcher appeared as a guest shark during the seventh season of reality TV show Shark Tank which premiered on September 25, 2015. Other work In 2009 Kutcher established an international human rights organization with his then-wife Demi Moore, DNA Foundation later known as Thorn, Digital Defenders of Children, works to address the sexual exploitation of children and the proliferation of child pornography on a global scale. On March 23, 2011, Kutcher launched his own Twitter client with Uber Media called A. Plus. While the app was initially available exclusively for desktop computers with Adobe Air installed, it eventually became available on mobile platforms for iPhone, Android, and BlackBerry. In order to download on one of the three mobile platforms, Users must first have the Uber Social client installed on their device and then proceed to the device's browser to download A.. In 2013, Kutcher teamed up with Evan Beard and Kendall DeBargi to launch A, where Kutcher is currently chairman of the board. Initially a product discovery service, it morphed in April 2014 to a social media-driven content platform focused on upbeat stories. It was officially launched in that incarnation in January the 2015. It has reported 27.5 million monthly uniques in the United States. Has an Alexa rank of about 11,787 and is ranked by Quantcast as a top 50 site in the US in terms of unique visitors. Brown face controversy. Ashton Kutcher received widespread criticism for his appearance in a Pop Chips ad campaign in May 2012. The campaign featured Kutcher as an Indian man looking for love in a dating ad style spoof. Kutcher's use of brown face paint and a stereotypical Indian accent was deemed racially insensitive and defensive and received backlash from online viewers and members of the Indian American community. While Kutcher has yet to acknowledge the criticism, the video was pulled and a spokesperson for Pop, Pop Chips stated that the dating parody was created to provoke a few laughs and was never intended to stereotype or offend anyone. Emmy Award-winning comedian Aziz Ansari featured the commercial in his 2015 Netflix comedy-drama Master of None to make a point that South Asian discrimination is taken less seriously than black discrimination although they are both forms of racism. Asians and Indians are the new clownable minority, comedian Hassan Minhaj, now a correspondent on The Daily Show, lamented in a YouTube response to Pop Chips. You have a S-Thai accent and you're not even being racist correctly. 
If you're gonna be racist, come correct with your racism. Ravi Patel gave his argument in a 2015 interview. I don't find stereotypical roles to always be offensive. I think stereotypes are there for a reason and are a very big part of comedy. It's interesting. Aziz's issue is specifically with Indian stereotypes but you don't see him walking away from other racial stereotypes. Patel said, you need to look at it on a case-by-case -case basis. Like in Transformers Michael Bay wanted me to wear a turban. I was like, why do you want me to wear a turban? And he said, because it's funny. And I said, well, that's not a good enough reason to wear a turban. I've stood up for stuff that's offensive every time. Relationships Kutcher and actress Demi Moore married on September 24, 2005. On November 17, 2011, Moore announced her intention to end the marriage. After over a year of separation Kutcher filed for divorce from Moore on December 21, 2012 in Los Angeles Superior Court. Citing irreconcilable differences, the divorce was finalized on November 27, 2013. Kutcher began dating his former That 70s Show co-star Mila Kunis during the first half of 2012. After they became engaged in February 2014 she gave birth to their daughter Wyatt in 2014. Kunis married Kutcher in July 2015. She gave birth to a son named Dimitri Portwood in November 2016. Interests and Beliefs Kutcher describes himself as a fiscal conservative and social liberal. He trains in the martial art Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He is currently a purple belt under Rigan Machado. On September 17, 2008, Kutcher was named the assistant coach for the freshman football team at Harvard Westlake School in Los Angeles. However, he was unable to return in 2009 because he was filming spread. In February 2011 Kutcher sold his Hollywood Hills home, which he originally bought in 2004. Kutcher has been a student of Kabbalah, a form of Jewish mysticism for several years. His No Strings Attached co-star Natalie Portman stated in 2011 that Kutcher has taught me more about Judaism than I think I have ever learned from anyone else. On trips to Israel Kutcher visited Kabbalah centers in Tel Aviv and in TSFAT. In 2013 Kutcher remarked Israel is near and dear to my heart, coming to Israel is sort of coming back to the source of creation trying to get closer to that. And as a creative person going to the source of creation is really inspiring. And this place has been really inspiring for me not only on a spiritual level, but also on an artistic and creative level. In April 2012, Kutcher became the 500th paying customer to sign up to ride Virgin Galactic's spaceship to social media presence. On April 16, 2009 Kutcher became the first Twitter user to reach more than 1 million followers, beating CNN in the site's million followers contest. However, there have been several reports that Twitter manipulated the contest's results by preventing users from unfollowing Kutcher or CNN. In November 2011 Kutcher received much criticism for his tweet in re response to the Jerry Sandusky child sexual abuse scandal, calling the firing of Penn State football coach Joe Paterno in poor taste. Kutcher subsequently turned over management of his Twitter account to his team at the Catalyst Media Company. On March 8, 2015, Kutcher sparked a national debate regarding the lack of equal access to diaper changing facilities in men's restrooms with this Facebook post. There are never diaper changing stations in men's sick public restrooms. The first public men's room that I go into that has one gets a free shout out on my FB page. Kutcher has leveraged his social media presence particularly on Facebook to post 
and promote content published by A+, a social media-driven content platform, an associated company of which he is the chairman. In April 2011 Kutcher and then-wife Demi Moore began a public service announcement campaign to end child sex trafficking. Kutcher claimed that 100,000 to 300,000 American children were sold into sexual slavery. The number was criticized by newspaper The Village Voice. Kutcher and others including the New York Times CSPAN and CNN used a peer-reviewed study referring to minors at risk for sexual exploitation. The Village Voice from their research said it was only hundreds of children. Kutcher claimed the criticism by the Village Voice promoted child prostitution and used Twitter to request that Village Voice advertisers withdraw their advertising from publications owned by its parent company. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?